Hello everyone and welcome back to Bookish Ramblings. Today's video is just going to be a little reading update plus a small haul and an even smaller unhaul. So let's get straight into it. First I guess we'll just get into the books that I want to unhaul. I just saved up a bunch of books for like a a bigger unhaul kind of recently and I don't want to hold on to any more books to do that again, at least not right now. So I just want to go ahead and like get these out of my space and out of my way. So I just have three books. Uh, the first one is Amanda by Candace F. Ransom. This is Sunfire book two, no book one. I just didn't care for this one. I didn't like the main character Amanda or even some of the other characters and it was just like not very good. So getting rid of this one. And then I'm getting rid of The Queen of Sleepy Eye by Patty Hill. It's just like about this girl and her mom and she's remembering back to the 70s when she was a teenager and they went on a road trip and they got stuck in this town and like the people they met and things that happened. And I was just super duper bored and I like DNF'd this. I want to say a little over 100 pages in or something. So yeah, I just didn't like it. I don't want to hold on to it anymore. And then lastly, I'm getting rid of Romanov by Nadine Brandes. I have held on to this book for so long. I never really talk about it even though like this is one of my favorite authors. Without getting too deep into it, I'm getting rid of this just because um, the magic in this book really made me uncomfortable back when I first read it. But like I liked the story itself so I just had like really mixed feelings about it and I didn't want to get rid of it but I felt weird about like talking about it or recommending it and I was just kind of trying to sort through how I felt about it. It's a like historical fantasy about like Anastasia and the Romanov family and it has magic and it has a very witchcrafty feeling magic that just makes me uncomfortable and I'm like just not okay with it and so it's just time for me to let this one go. I just it was just really hard for me to do. I mean look at this cover. It's literally my favorite cover ever with the gold foil and the, the illustrated cover. It's just the colors. It's so pretty. But it's time to say goodbye because I don't want to hold on to books that I'm not comfortable with. And it's like, for the past several years I've just pretended like this book didn't exist. But it's just like been sitting on the shelf behind me, visible in every video. So it's just time to get rid of it. So, yeah. On a happier note, I hauled books 2 through 5 of The Dreamhouse Kings by Robert... Robert Liparulo. Um, this is a like YA fantasy series involving like time travel. I already owned book one, House of Dark Shadows, was on my March TBR and I read it and I really really liked it and I'm trying to be more intentional and do better about finishing series that I start as long as I liked them of course because I'm really bad about like I have access to so many books now and there's so many interesting books out there that I want to read that even if like I I start series and then just like never finish them even though like I might love the first book. I used to not be that way because I used to have more limited access to books so I would start series and see them through to the end. So I'm, I'm trying to be better about it so I went ahead since I really liked this one I decided to go ahead and try to buy the rest of the series and I got these off of thriftbooks.com which is my favorite website to buy used books from. Um, the only book I'm missing is the last book, book number six, and that's because they didn't have a copy of that one in good condition but I'm going to buy that one as soon as I can. I bought book two, Watcher in the Woods, which I also already read, really liked it. Book three is Gatekeepers, which I am in the middle of, as you can see. And then book four is Timescape, and book five is Whirlwind. I want to finish out this series. I've been really enjoying it. I gave books one and two four and a half stars. They look super, like, creepy, and, like, they might be, like, horror books, but they're really not scary or creepy at all, at least in my opinion. The covers are a little bit deceiving. I'm not going to get, like, talk about them much just because I will be having, like, a recent reads video coming out soon and so I'll be talking about them more in depth then and giving like a synopsis. So those are the books that I hauled. Super excited about them. The only part that I don't like is that they're different sizes which I didn't know. So the ones published by Thomas Nelson are a little bit bigger and then the scholastic ones are smaller. Kind of bothers me but I didn't know that when I was buying them. It's fine. But yeah so I'm like I said I'm in the middle of gatekeepers. I'm really enjoying it. I read this and when I'm not able to sit down and read it I do have the audiobook that I'm listening to as well. I'm also in the middle of North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. I'm buddy reading this with Casey. I can't really say like I love it but like I like it. Mr. Thornton, you know, he's grown on me and I do really like him a lot. So 
yeah, we're just going to continue seeing what happens and where this goes. I honestly can't wait to finish this so that I can finally watch the BBC miniseries because I just like really want to watch that so bad because I have a feeling I'm going to probably love that even if I don't love the book. I like this. It's just a little bit boring sometimes and certain conversations about like the mill workers and the masters and the strikes and the stuff like I get a little bit bored so I have a feeling like I would enjoy watching it better. We probably won't finish this in March but I'm sure we'll have it done in April so there's that one. I'm feeling just so good to be able to say I read another classic. Feels really nice. I'm also listening to the audio of North and South as well when I'm not able to sit down and read it. I really like um, the narration for the audiobook. That's all I'm reading right now as far as the rest of my March TBR goes. I still have a froggy ghost to bed. My brother picked out my March TBR. If you missed that video, I will link it up here. <laughs> it's the one of books he picked out for me. Um, I'm definitely going to read this one just because it's like 10 pages. It's really easy, so like it'll take me like five minutes, you know. He also picked out for me In a Pit with a Lion on a Snowy Day by Mark Batterson, and this is Christian nonfiction. And to be honest, um, I don't think I'm going to read this one. You guys know how I feel about nonfiction. And I was really hoping Levi wouldn't pick me out a nonfiction, but he did, and I just do not want to read this. And I definitely am, there's no way I'm going to read it before the month is over, so I'm really not worried about this one. Maybe another time. He also picked out for me The Journal of Sean Sullivan. It's a My Name is America book. The author is William Durbin. I have read this book multiple times, so it's not really a priority. Like, I know it wouldn't take me that long to read it. It's These are such easy reads, and they're really short, but I just don't know if I want to since I have read it before. I really just want to get through the Dreamhouse King series. So I don't know if I'm going to read this one. Probably not. I also finished the Christian Book Club book for the month of March, Point of Danger by Irene Hannon. I finished that one, very proud of myself. It was just okay. Again, I'll talk more about that in my recent reads. I finished Replication, my other book that Levi picked out for me. It was a reread. I've been wondering if I still liked it. I did, I didn't give it a super high rating, but like, I liked it. So I'm like, kind of deciding if I want to keep that book or not. Anyways, I guess that's kind of all I wanted to talk about in this video, so this might be kind of short. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you've been reading lately or if you've read any of the books I talked about and what you thought about them. And I'll see you in the next Bookish Ramblings video. Bye!